This is where Lian Fang Fang was last seen before she went missing. She disappeared from her apartment 10 years ago, but her daughter says Fang is not a missing person. She believes her mother was murdered and says she doesn't understand why police won't provide her with information on the investigation. On the day that I came home, I found you know, traces of blood on the, um, on the floor of our apartment. And when I look further, I noticed that there were stains of blood on the wall and it looked like somebody um, washed it off with a mop. Liang lived with her mother at the time. She and her attorneys say an initial police investigation showed strong evidence of foul play. But shortly after the investigation began, they say the detective on the case retired and police stopped providing information. When we first subpoenaed the, the tried to subpoena the police records and then brought a motion to, to compel their production, uh, I had spoken with an investigator who at one point told me the records were destroyed in a flood. Liang says nothing was stolen from the apartment and her mother's wallet and passport were also left behind. And she says no money was ever withdrawn from their joint bank account. Council member Daniel Drum says the NYPD owes Liang some answers. I ask you, if this was your mother, what would you do? So this case cries out for justice. But a spokesperson for the NYPD denies those claims and in a statement says the records are being maintained at the Queen's Homicide Unit because this is an active investigation. Forensic evidence taken from the scene tested inconclusive. Foul play has not been ruled out, but this is still a missing persons case. Liang's attorney says this is the first time he's heard that. He says he'll seek another subpoena to try to have all the records released. In Elmhurst, Safan Kim, New York 1.